So, Kuzat, it's been almost a year since we last talked about the playwright in our podcast. So, what do you say if we also talk about the updates that we made to our playwright course today? Yeah, since then, I think you had mm. more than a thousand students, that I believe. Oh, yeah, uh, around 1,200 students. Yeah, took your program, the program. Uh, for more than a year. What's going on with the playwright program? Any update? Yes, of course. We made lots of updates, actually. We have extended the duration of the course from five weeks to six weeks because we also have added more TypeScript contents, more Jenkins practices and also some additional framework contents. So basically we have added more contents compared to what we had before. So I've been tech industry for almost 15 years. I've never seen an automation tool took off this fast. Yes. It took QTP back then while it took Selenium 18 years to come here. Mm -hmm. And a playwright, I just started hearing like maybe two years ago, first time I heard. It was made public since 2021. Late 2020, but starting from 2021, it was. I mean, it's, it's around five years, and yes. it is the fastest Almost growing tool. Years. Lots of QA professionals. Most of your students are already uh, working as a QA engineers. Mm -hmm. Now, for those new professionals who want to take your program, can you explain your program a little bit? Sure. Our playwright training program is six weeks program, and we start with JavaScript first. As long as you have like intermediate level programming knowledge, then yes, you are you are good to go with this program. We start with JavaScript. We spend around 11 hours on the JavaScript essentials that are needed for our playwright automation testings. And after 11 hours of JavaScript training, then we have around two weeks of playwright automation techniques that we will be teaching you. If it was Selenium or other automation tools, we would have to spend like four or five weeks just to teach you the automation techniques. But with the playwright, two weeks is enough. And then after the playwright automation techniques you have learned, then you will have Jenkins classes, you will also learn how to run the playwright test with the Jenkins and various different Jenkins jobs we will be setting up. And you will learn how to configure the private repositories, public repositories on the Jenkins. And then after the Jenkins part, then you will have project implementation week. Basically, you will be working on a project, a project called SCP. It stands for self-enrollment portal. It's a finance-based project because it integrates the world's largest third-party payment app. It's called Stripe. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if you have heard of the Stripe or not. It's the world's largest payment application. Yeah, we, we do use Stripe for... Yeah, lots of web applications, they use Stripe to achieve payment functionality, right? So the project that we are using in our Playwright Automation Training Program is, is the self-enrollment portal that integrates the Stripe. After the Jenkins week is done, then you will be working on the project and you will have like around 12 user stories that you will be automating with the Playwright. We will also teach you how to set up the Playwright with the Cucumber and how to use the Playwright's own standard framework, which is known as TDD, Test Driven Development. And then after you complete the project implementation week, then the last week we will get started with the TypeScript programming. TypeScript, most of the syntax in TypeScript are pretty much similar with the JavaScript. We will talk about the main differences that the TypeScript has compared to JavaScript, such as OOP principles, type safety, how the TypeScript can check the types of the variables, reference types, etc. And then we will set up the playwright with the TypeScript that time. So by the time you get to the TypeScript week, you already have used the playwright with the JavaScript and already be very familiar with the JavaScript. So therefore, within that one week of TypeScript will be enough for you to be able to utilize the playwright with the TypeScript as well. So you will be able to use the playwright with both JavaScript and TypeScript. So these are what we are covering in six weeks. Plus, in each of those weeks, we also have AI classes as well. So in our last podcast, we also talked about what exactly we are teaching in, about AI in our curriculum. So yes, we are still teaching you how to create AI agents, how to use the AI to debug your code, generate code scripts, document your codes, okay? And also how to create prompt templates because we are using Tab9 AI, which has a functionality that allows you to create prompt template Prompt template, it works like function of the programming. Basically, you save certain prompts in the prompt template as a prompt template. And every time when you call that prompt template, it just works like the function of programming. It's like it, reusable it prompt. Exactly. It performs certain tasks. So tab 9, yes, tab 9 AI we are still using in the program. But of course, we have added more contents, more prompt templates into tab 9. And perplex AI, we are still using it as well. In the last time when we did the podcast, yes, during the program, we used to create like seven or eight AI agents. 
But since then, we have added more AI agents. We configured more AI agents that are needed for programming and automation. So right now, in total, like 14 AI agents we are creating during this playwright training program. Each AI agent that we create is like specialized for one specific task. For example, from the automation part, we have lots of repetitive tasks, different repetitive tasks. Locating element is one, writing manual test cases another, and then writing the automation script for those manual test cases is, is another one. And even for the Jenkins part, yes, we're also integrating the AI as well to be able to generate the cron syntaxes to schedule the Jenkins jobs. So we are utilizing the AI pretty much in every single weeks of this training program. From start to finish, we have the AI classes every single week. First week is JavaScript week, but on top of JavaScript, you still have AI classes. And the rest of the weeks, yes, on top of whatever the classes that you have, you will still have AI, additional AI classes as well. So most of your students are full-time QA engineers. Mm -hmm. And what is the schedule look like? Is that flexible? Yeah, we made it pretty flexible, actually. During the weekdays, you have up to five hours of class videos to complete. And those videos, we recorded them at the studio at the production level. They are pretty high quality videos. You complete them based on your own availability. If you work during the daytime, yes, you can definitely complete them in the evenings. And plus each video is in a bite size. So for example, if you only have like 30 minutes in a day for study, yes, you can still complete like one or two videos. During the weekdays, you have video classes to complete based on your own availability. And then during the weekend, you have four hours of live classes, which takes place on Sundays from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern time. So I would say five hours for most working professionals. I do believe, because I've seen Playwright mm -hmm. myself, if it's not 100x faster execution, it is definitely 10 times faster in terms of uh, executing your entire regression suite. Yes. And a second thing is, most beautiful part of the playwright is the auto weight functionalities, like the auto weighting. Yes, absolutely. Because I, I remember when I was automating test cases, I have to figure out like spending so much effort to see how many second wait time should I put it there, right? Now playwright is automated that part. You don't have to spend time on it. So execute faster. Test script generation is way faster. Mm -hmm. I would say companies, the reason that playwright is one of the fastest growing tool Probably companies are saving thousands of hours every year. When you think about IT professionals and their payrolls, that payroll is the most expensive thing. Yes. If you can save thousands of hours per year, it's huge productivity boost for the companies. And I would say, I would argue in the daytime, professionals should mm -hmm. let their manager know, hey, I'm learning something to 10x our QA efficiencies, right? Yes. Uh, basically, I believe QA engineers should be able to take this program even in the, in the work time. I used to do that in my company. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, anything that can help you to, to become more efficient, that can help your team to be more efficient is absolutely uh, something that you should absolutely do as a QA. So what is the requisite for this program? If you have a automation testing background, that's great, but it's not 100% required. We just require you to have like intermediate level programming knowledge. When I say intermediate level, it means like you already are familiar with some of the key concepts of programming, such as variables, arrays, loops, class and object, etc. Of course, we're still going to teach you those topics as well with the JavaScript, but we expect you to already have base understanding of those topics because the maximum hours that we spend for JavaScript is just 11 hours. After this program, if I'm QA engineer, am I going to feel comfortable enough to build my own automation framework and playwright from scratch? The short answer is yes. Of course, you still have to do lots of practice as well. But the good thing is we will give you a template framework that you can just take it and use it for your own project. We already made the template framework to be ready. We have one test driven development and one behavior driven development template frameworks of the TypeScript version of those template frameworks. Because at the end of the class, we would recommend students to go with the TypeScript because it has lots of advantages over JavaScript. And then, yes, Playwright, you will be 100% be able to use it with the TypeScript as well by that time. And then we will provide you two template frameworks, behavior-driven development and test-driven development. So behavior-driven development means like uh, you set up the Playwright with the Cucumber, like many companies have set up the Selenium with Cucumber because BDD, it has like two layers, business layer, technical layer. Business layer is much more easier for the business team to read and understand. And technical layer is the place where you work on the automation script. So we are also keeping that uh, same tradition as well. We're also setting up the playwright with the BDD, with the Cucumber to make the BDD framework. 
but the standard framework of the playwright is still the test driven development, the TDD framework. So we also have the template that we created, made it ready for you. It used playwright's own standard framework, the TDD framework, and it also implements the page object module, singleton pattern, and plus it already had all the configurations that are needed for parallel execution, cross-browser testing, headed headless, API testing, okay? So those frameworks are ready. You can easily implement it, integrate it into your own project. So you just have to change the name of the folders, change the URL that's being used, the base URLs that are being used in those template frameworks, and it will be ready to go, ready to be used for your own project. So they're not only learning how to use it, you're giving them templates so they can just probably, it's, it's going to speed up their automation oh, yeah. process. So far, like for five, six different companies, we have provided this template framework. The team list, they pretty enjoyed it because those template frameworks, this player version of the frame, test room development framework, it's uh, the most user-friendly framework ever. Everything is made so much simpler, whether you are using it for the UI testing or API yeah. testing. It's way simpler than the legacy automation tools like Selenium, Rest Assure, you know, and uh, JUnit, etc. Oh, by the way, if you have to use those legacy automation tools, for example, if you want to do UI testing, just having Selenium itself is not enough. You would still need a test runner like JUnit or TestNG to be able to run the Selenium tests. And you would also need uh, reporting tools like extend HTML report, etc. So just to be able to do UI testing with the legacy automation tools, you would need Selenium library, JUnit or TestNG library, and then also extend HTML report library. You see at least three different libraries that you would need just to be able to do UI testing. And for API testing, you would need the tools like Rest Assure, for example, okay? So four or five different libraries that you would need in the legacy automation tools to be able to test the front end and the back end. But with Playwright, that's all that you need because Playwright, it has its own test runner, has its own reporting tools. So it's pretty much all in one framework. Yeah, no mm -hmm. wonder it's the fastest growing tool. Yeah. Oh, plus it also can do like the test web application against the mobile view. So we used to teach students Appium for to be able to test web applications in the mobile view. For example, if you want to be able to test something in a mobile Safari or mobile Chrome, we used to use the tools like Appium. Appium, it also has the functionality of testing the native apps. But for the web application, it's for the needs of the web applications. Appium is, is more than enough. But if you go with the Playwright, you don't even need Appium. You can just use the Playwright to test any web applications against the mobile view. Doesn't matter if it's for the iOS devices or Google Pixels, you know, for any mobile devices, you can test your web application against. So mm -hmm. by the end of this program, are students going to get uh, some sort of certification? Yeah, you will get the certificate of completion and that certificate, uh, it states all the tools that you have learned during this training program, including the AI tools, uh, CI/CD tools, uh, version controls, Playwright, of course, JavaScript and TypeScript are included as well. Yeah, you will get certificate that states all those tools that you have learned in this training. So the most important question, if, if mm -hmm. students want to sign up, what is the process? The sign up is pretty easy, actually. You can just register for the program through our website. So you go to sido.com and then there is an upskill training session. Under the upskills, you should be able to find a Playwright automation with AI, that upskill training. And then once you go to that link, it there will be button called register now. So you click to register now, it will take you to our enrollment portal. And then you provide your personal details and choose the payment plan that's available over there. And then you check out. After you check out, then you will receive invitation emails to our Discord. Discord is our communication platform. And you will also be invited to our Sideo Learning LMS, which is where we upload all the class recordings, presentation slide, everything that. And then, yes, you will also be invited to our GitHub organization. And by the way, the Sido Learning LMS is where you have all the recording and everything. And after this program ends, after the six weeks of training, you will still have three months access to the LMS, which means after you complete the program, you can still go over everything three more times. Mm -hmm. And if the three months is not enough, uh, you can still request for extension. That time you will only be charged for $30 per month maintenance fee. Uh, yeah. But I would say three months access should be more than enough yes. for you to go over everything three more times. So after that, you probably don't need to extend it anymore. Yeah. Yeah, I would say, you know, when you in a QA team, mm -hmm. just by switching to Playwright, 
if your team and if your project or company is saving hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yes. And that's not only the monetary value, also you're saving time. Mm -hmm. because Plus it makes your job so much easier. Yeah. So it makes your life easier. Uh -huh. Absolutely. And also, you know, this um, AI coding craziness when developers are writing 10 times more code and most of them have no idea because the code is not written by you. So yes. you wouldn't know. And we're looking at the application cycle that is so fast. Unfortunately, the AI developed code has way more defects. And when you have lots of things to test, I think speed is key because you have to probably run your regression almost every day because mm -hmm. we used to run, I don't know, maybe a month or before release cycle, we used to run regression. That yeah, was a, usually it's run be right before the release. That, that was release. a good time. I think at the time of AI, mm -hmm. probably you have to run your regression suite, if not every day, every week, you need speed. I would say if a, a QA automation engineer can switch to Playwright, they're going to save thousands of hours for their company. Oh, absolutely. Yes. And right there, they their payroll, their job security is 100% justified, mm -hmm. I would say, and uh, many other opportunity. So I would say this program is good for the students, prof professionals, mm -hmm. QA engineers, and also good for the companies. Absolutely, yes. And as a QA, yes, you should learn this cutting edge technology, Playwright. Plus, you should also learn how to utilize the AI as well. If you haven't yet, then you are falling behind. This is a great opportunity for you. Plus, we have actual legit contents to teach you about the uh, AIs because we already have completed like 11 plus batches of yeah. Playwright. I think it's in our DNA, right? We don't like the, mm. to bluff or prompt engineering, whatever, yeah. <laughs> using AI as a there selling point. There are also point. lots of hypes around AI. Exactly. I mean, We're very practical and technical. So yes. when you come to our program, when you learn AI, it's not about the hype. It's, it's a mm. genuine, useful, practical tools and yes. you know implementation of ai yeah we're literally teaching you how to fully integrate ai into the automation and programming both amazing so thank you Mukhtar, for your time thank you so much yeah at the end i just want to say you know if you don't want to learn playwright it's fine nobody argue nokia is a bad phone they were amazing phone yeah but unfortunately they're gone i think exactly. technology keeping yourself up to date yes. keep innovating yourself Playwright is the new iPhone now. Is pretty important uh, in this competitive landscape. Absolutely, day. yes. Playwright is inevitable. Take care. Take care.